guys, it's Great DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode one of season three of Rising of the Shield Hero. Honestly, like truly, I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Um, we all know that at the end of season two, we were all skeptical. <laughs> Um, about this show getting a second, I mean, a second season, a third season, and especially with how season two was portrayed, May, and such. And I think initially, I think when I finally saw, I think the first or the second trailer for this, like, I was, like, knowing me, I'm automatically signed on because I really, truly liked the show and such. But I think after when I finished season two and I was like, yeah, I'm still going to watch it regardless. I was really kind of torn because, yes, I enjoyed season two. But at the same time, I still had my own issues with it as well. And when I watched the trailer for this one, there were there's two different ones I watched. The first one where I think initially it said like three heroes were initially missing. That's the biggest thing of this season and such. Um, and I'm guessing like Black Market-esque. And then there was another trailer that I think came out about a month after it. And I had said in one of my tweets, I was like, yeah, this kind of now looks better art-wise and like quality and everything from season two. And the story seems a lot more interesting than season two. Don't mind you. Like I still love season two's interesting story, but I feel like because we were all so excited about season one and then the hype of season two, it still gives me, and when I look at this show, all I automatically think of is Promise Neverland in a nutshell and how season one was fucking glorious and such. And then you look at season two and you finish season two of that show and you're like, what the fuck happened between this and that and this is kind of what this is you're like good ass season one what the fuck happened with season two and then can season three be better than season two and i'm really hoping for that because it's like i don't know i mean do i think in my opinion this would be like my la my final chance with the show no i think i'll still watch it regardless because i still like it and such but i'm i'm really hoping that the company and whoever was the director for this season takes the initiative and the criticism that season two got and literally was like, hey, <laughs> let's take everything from season two and not go into that direction of doing certain things. And I get it because of the fact is it does remind me of like when the OG Bleach was airing and such and how when you're getting super duper close to you know the manga and stuff and you're like yeah let's go this way that's what it kind of felt like and such because when you're getting information from someone who knows the series and such and they're like oh that didn't happen and you're like what the fuck <laughs> it just what the fuck so you know I, I really hope that like the other series that I like aka um Oh my god, I just, <laughs> I had it and I just blanked. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? I hope that, you know, when that eventually comes back, we don't get something like this, where it's like, something happens that's very, very important, and then they're like, oh, we're gonna change that! And I'm just gonna be like, huh? <laughs> what? But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Oh, his head look really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting an opening now or no? 
No, yeah. Uh, okay. I thought we would have waited till next week, but okay. <laughs> God, fucking bitch. <laughs> why can she, why does she have to be relevant in this show? Can she just, oh my God, like she gonna piss me off. It, we're not even into the episode and the bitch has already pissed me fucking off. I fucking hate her. We can't kill her. I'm just saying. That's probably the only time I see. Yeah, that's the only time we're gonna fucking see them. And then, boom, they're gone. And the next thing you know, we're gonna see them trapped somewhere and be like, what the fuck happened? This is what I said about fucking season two. Why the fuck couldn't we have an episode focusing on them and where the fuck they went? We could have did this also with this show. Well, I mean, with this season. Well, how the fuck they were? Were they missing? <laughs> Oh my god, thank god. Not seeing her for a hot minute? No.
Seriously? Oh, nobody give a fuck about the fact that she missing. Nobody gives a flying fuck the bitch is missing. We all fucking celebrating. Let her die. Let the bitch die. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> That didn't happen in season two. I would have remembered that. What the fuck was that? I need context on that, like ASAP. <laughs> Poor baby. Too fucking much. The fact that Raphael also remembered the price on her head. Oh my god, poor baby. Seriously? And that's where the other three heroes went as well? I mean, because where else would they go? Once again, context. Oh, they really changed her CGI up.
fucking black market shit. Could be like a hidden door or something in there. I mean, you know, just gotta find out. Ha! How the hell you get here faster than them? <laughs> this some Nurse Joy Officer Jenny type shit? Exactly. See? Always indoor. Fucked up. Well, of course. I mean, damn. Well, yeah, because it's all a fucking scam! I got it, yes. Money also makes the world go round. Is Sasha the elephant? Oh.
Damn. A panda just kicked an elephant's ass. What in the world? <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there are no rules down there. There's got to be a reason why he was fixing the fights. Makes sense, yeah. Right? I, I mean... Um, okay, okay. I, I get it, but that's different. But I get it. I mean, because, sir, it, it's you, OP, and two fucking pretty cares with you. The pretty cares can kick some ass. We all know that. But... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus, Beetle. <laughs> like really we gotta say this fake shit <laughs> Cut off, wait, the, the last shot of someone's like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Show. <laughs> Show. <laughs> what, where are we going? What we need? Oh, okay, okay, okay. As I said in the beginning with this, especially with the fact is, quote unquote, the three heroes are missing and such, or they just went somewhere and they have not been seen or heard of for a hot minute. How even bitch is missing, even though we don't really give two shits about her. She can miss and be missed for as, <laughs> as long as I don't give a fuck. She could die and I could still be happy. Please let her die. 
Oh, look at the Bochi! <laughs> Sorry. She could fucking, like, die. And, and honestly, I would be fucking happy. Let her fucking go. Like, please. The day that she dies, everybody will fucking celebrate. <laughs> but, okay. Um... Homegirl who talked in Alphamy, she seems really interesting. I hope, like, if she is going to be a character who is going to get a lot of development, I hope it's not, like, the situation of Ulus, where she's only here for a certain amount of time, and she feels very underrated and not as developed as insert characters here and such. But still, because I feel like if... because <laughs> right, And I'm going to say this, too. All right, so... <laughs> the last time I did a podcast with my guy friends and we were talking about this show once again as I said or as one of them said like the last time we saw everybody was the freaking meeting that they all had and then all three of them walked the fuck off and then it goes episodes on episodes on episodes and then we finally see them again are we getting that shit again because it's like we we see them for a moment we don't even see them interact with Nalfami in this episode. We just see them, like, there. In, in like, just a, a background, and then they're there. And then it's like, okay, no, they're missing. And I'm guessing they all went to that exact same place where Nalfami is right freaking out, and then for some weird reason, boom, they miss. They're missing. And no one has heard from them and such. But I can't, like, <laughs> like I'm all, that's why I'm over here, like, skeptical. Like, I ain't mad at it. But I'm still skeptical about what the fuck is going on and such. And so, there, it feels like there's a lot riding on this. So, I mean, but yeah, the first episode was not that bad. I mean, I already think that this is going to be a lot better than season two. I mean, I'm still a little... Because, hmm. hmm. you know, we all have our own issues and stuff. But, um... It ha it's promising. That's what I'll say about this season, especially how it starts. Um, with these auctions and everything, especially with, like, the fact is that one of the damn girls is being sold into slavery. It's like, yeah, I'm from this village! <laughs> and Rotelia, like, no, the fuck you ain't. <laughs> yeah, she ain't from there? Like, mm -mm. But the fact is that they are literally telling these kids, anyone who goes into slavery, like, yeah, just say you're from here, and anybody would literally take you. What? The I mean the fuck but i get it because that's the way ish goes and money makes the world go around and you know psh, psh, psh. <laughs> but I, I mean yeah what the fuck <laughs> but yes please for the love of god i beg you if they want to do an episode focusing on the other three heroes please at least do it by episode three, four, or five. Because there, there's context that we need. There's questions I have answering. Because I would like to see something that happened to the three of them before an alpha me came in. You're telling me that they've been missing. What, what the fuck they did? I'm just saying. You know, because like I said, I'm looking at y'all because it's season two. Regardless. But yeah, it's so good. I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, everything was about, like, the, the one other thing that I really also liked, especially with the, the fucking CGI map, I don't know why, and you're gonna probably laugh when I say this, and you're automatically gonna know what it is once I say this as well. I got Game of Thrones vibes. And, you know, as someone who has not watched Game of Thrones, even though I, I did watch a fucking spinoff, but I didn't really like it that much. Um, yeah! <laughs> but it was still good. I just, I have a lot of questions. Hopefully in the next coming weeks they do get answered. That, or I'm just, you know, gonna have to phone the friend. Mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, be like, explain all this shit. Or, you know, eventually, whenever we get there. Because, you know, hey, this is also on my list of, of series that I do want to read. But your girl is fucking busy as fuck. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction beat towards episode one of season three of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye, guys.